Uh, the first time I did it was, I think, in 2001, the spring of 2001. I had been watching, it all started actually watching a black comic make fun of people, of white people dancing at weddings. That's how it all got started. And uh, we started laughing about what it, it was doing this bit on it. And I was like, that's so true. He was talking about how a certain song comes on, everybody runs out there and dances to that song, and then everybody goes and sits down. And then five songs later, everybody runs out and dances a specific dance. And we started laughing and chuckling. And I was like, you know, it'd be funny to see a couple of those in order. Like just a bunch together, and then I was like, it'd be really neat to see them in a, a, almost a chronological order. And one of my main themes that I talk about is the fact that life is change, and so it kind of just clicked instantly. I ran upstairs to my hotel room. I wrote down the first twelve songs that came to mind. I mixed it on a computer program that I bought off the internet for like forty dollars, and mixed it the first time. Went out and did it, and uh, the minute that I got off stage, I knew that it was definitely. Uh, gonna be my <laughs> it was gonna be my meal ticket so to say because everybody loved it I booked a whole bunch of shows I was doing it a showcase event and so a whole bunch of people came up and said that was fantastic we want to have you at our college you know give us a call and so every couple of months six months I would add two or three songs and until it got to about six minutes and I realized I wouldn't really do it anymore <laughs> I had to stop at that mark I was I was getting out of breath too much at the end and so ever since then it's been 30 songs six minutes long and the very first one is Hound Dog. Uh, I really wanted to, and still maybe someday we'll hopefully be able to do it, start way back in the 20s, but most of the early dances were partner dances. They didn't have, a, you know, the foxtrot, the swing dancing, you know, all those things, flappers, and all that stuff was two people, and so it's kind of difficult to do it with just one. And then really, you know, Soul and Elvis and that movement would kind of became an individual dancing. So it starts with Elvis Presley and then goes through, you know, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and up into the, the early 2000s. So I was doing, I do leadership development sometimes and use games and activities and I have this one program where if uh, they want me to, I teach a four minute version of the dance, we break it down in one minute increments. And so I taught it in uh, February of 2006 to a whole bunch of like 400 high school students. And one particular group of students from a school in Connecticut came up to me afterwards and they said, hey listen, we really like the dance, we want to try to do it as a group for our talent show, could you put it up on the internet so that we could watch it and we could practice it? You know, got on my Mac, did my little iMovie, just did the dance perfectly, and then uh, threw it up on YouTube, sent an email back to them and said, hey, it's up on MySpace now, because that's the only way, I, I was really trying to put it on MySpace, didn't know that YouTube was what it was becoming, and just that's, that's the only thing I knew how to do. And so put it up there, sent out an email, said, hey, it's up there now, you know, enjoy it, good luck with your, with your show, and then that was it. A lot of people always ask me, they say, how did it, when did you know it was going to be big, or when did you know that it was starting to, to build? And when YouTube set up your account on YouTube, you can have the option to have them send you an email every time somebody leaves a comment about your video, every time somebody sends you an email, it'll generate an email automatically to you. So I'm in San Francisco for a leadership training for a few days where there's no internet, there's no email, there's no cell phone, you know, it's a high school leadership. So I'm out in San Francisco doing some other stuff early. So Thursday night, I go to bed. Uh, the day before I'd gotten like three emails from YouTube. I go back to, to this campground and I get a couple phone calls and you could get cell phone coverage. And one of my friends calls me and he goes, hey, did you know that your video is up on a website called YouTube? And I was like, yeah, you know, I explained. He goes, well, somebody just emailed it to me and I looked on the thing and it's like at 150,000 people have watched it so far. So my other friend calls me and he's like, you're at 400,000 views. He's like, this is ridiculous. We're just sitting here watching the clicker. We're hitting refresh every few minutes and we're seeing it jump by like 10,000. And then every single day for about the next two weeks, it would go up by about a million and it would just keep rolling and rolling. And the whole time I'm, I mean, I had no idea what happened. And it's one of those things where a couple people latched onto it, told a couple other people and it just exploded. And about four weeks later on its own, that's when it just started to snowball and the rest, they say, is history.